a battle, but it's going to be worth the journey. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. We're excited to see what the Lord's got in store. Yes. I'm ready for revival. Amen. We're excited to see what the Lord's got in store for us yes. today. I know we got a lot of sitting, a lot of things going on. Everybody needs to stay back stand and pray for all these needs. Pray yes. for the service. Yes. Pray for one another. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 We go all the way, Lord. We thank you, God. We pray your holy name, Lord. Your word is the praise of the people. Thank you, Jesus. We pray. Amen. We'll get have a few songs and we'll turn to prayer. Let's go right back again. So good that we can sing yes. ourselves together once more. Praise God and be back in the house of the Lord. Praise His holy name. Love you, Jesus. I love the Lord and praise Him for everything He's done, what He's going to do, what He's done through the revival. The revival's not over yet. The healing's not over yet. Praise God. It's going to get more healing take place. And God's going to get the glory for all of us. Praise his holy name. He said the believers are my children. Yes. God, he's not sure what he's promised. When he tells you to do something, he'll do it. He might not do it. Your time, he'll do it. His time. Praise Jesus. God. Praise his Lord. time is always right now. Praise the Lord. I love the Lord. Praise God. Praise him for everybody here. Praise all of our boys. Pray for us. That's our strength. Pray for each other. Praise God. We help each other. I'm going to try this song again. It's A and G. He was more than a man. Love you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Love you, Jesus. He was more than a man. The fire had talked to Moses that day from the burning bush. He moved the rock as he followed the children of Israel the wilderness. He moved the land. As you see the Hebrew children burned to the fire, he just brings the peace to my God. They want their hope tomorrow.
begins the really in our family.
God. Bless him, Lord. Like his. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll pray for my grandson of Eli. I'm proud of my son Bob. Amen. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of my daughter, Rachel. She's having trouble with her eyes. Yes, I know y'all pray. That's why I ask you. Keep it up on your heart. Yes, you know, I know God is able. Yes, He is. We love the day. He is able to do anything. Yes, yes. 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 I know. I, I ask God for many things. Yes, we do, brother. You know, but I know He's going to do it. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, if you're the last one that comes in, hallelujah. You can be the first one, hallelujah, yes, before right. the throne of God. Yes. You know, hallelujah, that's how good our God is. Yes. He is so great that He yes, can take the last yes, one and put you first, hallelujah. Yes. Now, how great a God can it be, Brother Bob? Yes. God would set me yes. the least of the money. I feel the least amongst us all. But He would take yes. me and put me. First, hallelujah, Brother Michael. Yes, Put you is. first, hallelujah. Yes. Put us all first in the line. If you get through the gate, how are you going to get through the gate? You got to live right. You got to live holy. You got to live the holy hand. You got to make it to that gate. Are you going to get through that gate? Hallelujah. It's going to be worth it all. You know, we're going to get through that gate. Hallelujah. It's going to be worth everything you ever see. And it's going to be a
that somebody was going to see how to the doctor and they're going to fall out, Brother Bob. But it's Thank you. 
This was trying to kill that one. Problems coming. Have you noticed the devil's a liar? He knows something's about to happen with the steam. In the atmosphere, when you feel that something's ready to take place. And I'm so happy that I'm part of this. Yes, amen. Oh, Jesus, I praise him. Come on, church, praise him, just a minute, would you? Come, I praise you, lift you up. And I thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing. And all that you're going to do, Lord. And I pray, God, you bless the hearing of the word. Let us all become a great doer of the word, God. And we'll praise you. Give me a chord. I'm going to sing this song that goes on with, with my message. So I might say, my God, he's got a switch up there to sing it. But God laid this little message just singing on my heart, Sister Stella. And as he was showing it to me in my spirit, but the mom, I could see how, how easy it is for the devil to get to our minds if we don't have a guard up. Lord oh, have mercy. Thank you. Thank God I've been seen to the day of redemption. One day Jesus will come and you take us away.
word is what Moses and shakes us. Yes. And makes us like him. Amen. And make us say, man. Amen. The title of this little lesson is seen for a little while. Time to clear war on the devil. Yes, yes. And make us say, man. Amen. Each one of us hell stole something from us. Amen. Have I can say amen. 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 And Satan's a liar. He, he's, he can't tell you nothing but a lie. That's right. And it's time for the church to declare war on the devil. Yes, amen. yes. Right. Jesus told us in the word that we're going to hear wars and rumors of war in the natural. But I'm going to tell you in the spiritual, it's time to declare war on the devil. Amen. Put the devil in his place. Yes. Have a good say, man. Amen. Father, I thank you, Lord, for another privilege, God, to speak to your people. God, you know what we need this day. And I ask you, Lord, to give us a new to hear what the Spirit and Word is saying to the church. And give me words of wisdom, power, and authority to speak to your people, God. And Lord, let us declare war on that foul power of hell. That's a raging across this nation. And touch everyone in this house, God, every knee. In Jesus' name. Can somebody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. All right, Brother Michael, I'm Velma. Blackboard. Devil said, you're crazy. He's crazier than I am. That's right. All right. My artwork ain't too good, but you'll get what I'm talking about. Amen, Brother Michael. I'm going to use you to help me. How right. I many believe that had help makes in the Bible? Yes. <laughs> help. Take this here and get you a piece of chalk in your hand. And I want you to look at this. I saw this, Brother Larry, in the spirit realm. The top circle represents your mind, the bottom circle represents your soul and your heart. And each one of these arrows represents, at the top, represents a fiery dart of the wicked. And Jesus, the Bible said, that he didn't give us the spirit of fear. Let me just say, man, let me read this right here before we get, get too far along. Uh, Galatians chapter 5, 16 and 17 verse. The apostle said, I, I saw then, of this I say, then walk in what? Spirit. The spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 17. For the flesh lusts us against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary. The one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. How many say amen? Let y'all will touch your neighbor and say, I'm going to do what God wants me to do. Do what God wants me to do. Amen. All right, look at this. It ain't too bright. I got to get another blackboard that's better. But the top of the, part, the top left arrow, I could, I could wrote hundreds of things on here, but I thought. The Bible tells us, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Yes. All the reading about Jesus, you'll never find where Jesus ever got down and sat in the corner and began to pout. That's right. Have right. a man. I'm going to take you some more if you listen with your heart. All right. Mark that top arrow on the left, on your left. Put an X to it. How do I overcome by the Paul? The fiery darts of the evil, wicked. Jesus. Look down at the bottom circle. That circle, the bottom is representing your heart and soul. First thing he said, I give you power. Wow. Yes, yes. Come on, just a few minutes. Jesus. And he said in the words that after the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you'll receive power. Yes. And Jesus made a statement, I give you power over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means 
hurt you. Amen. And that means to disturb you. Yes. Or get you in a backsliding stage. Yes. Your mind is the battleground where we're facing hell. Yes. Mark the second arrow out, Brother Michael. Yes. It may be in your family, something in your family. My greatest attack, I preach this message. I'm not going to go into it much here. Yes. But my greatest attack won't come through somebody down the street. Yes. It won't come through my neighbor. But my yes. greatest attack will come through my family. Yes. That's ones yes. that's closest to me in the flesh. Yes. That's where Satan zeroes in his fiery darts and he's sending them to your mind. Satan cannot attack your heart. You listen to me because look at that little line around. I got bloodline, bloodline all the way around that circle. The devil cannot cross the bloodline. He has no power to penetrate through the blood. If you've got the Spirit of God, that Holy Ghost that's living inside of you, Brother Steve, that should not be nothing get us down. We should be able to just speak the name of Jesus and the powers of hell will tremble. You know what happens when these fiery darts hit our mind? We begin to think about them. We begin to ponder on them. We begin to let them rest in their mind. And the first thing you know, you stay home. The first thing you know, you're even doubting if God's going to move. This is the battleground of the devil, church. It's a war right here. It's time to play war on the devil. Stand up this mind of Christ. Be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. I can't ever get excited. Amen. Mark the next thing down, Brother Michael. Blessed. Now, lest this don't have to be after a woman or man. Right. Amen. Amen. You do it, Brother Bible. Amen. To lust after things. The Bible says this. I'm not going to have time to read it all. The Bible teaches us for the learning where we are drawn aside. What's that mean? That, that I've got my mind off of what was in my heart. I let my mind control me instead of my heart control me. Oh, yeah. Jesus, I wish you could see this. When you allow the mind to affect you, when you allow your mind abilities, oh, Brother Paul, it's, it's been so bad. Well, that's talking from the, the mind's experience. But it ain't in the heart till you let it be conceived. And when it's conceived, it brings forth sin. Is that what the Bible said? You draw aside by your own lust. I could sit down over here and find 90 reasons to tell about. I could sit down somewhere in the kitchen. Your brother Larry, and I can find a whole book of things to cry about and be sad about. But I'm going to encourage myself. I'm going to encourage myself because Jesus is living in us. He can't live inside of you and you not have power, you not have love, you don't have a sound mind. Honey, I tell you right now, it's time to play war on the devil. It's time to believe what God's word said. Don't believe it with your mind, believe it with your heart. The word says in another place, I'm not going to have time to turn to all these places. If my heart has got condemnation in it, that's condemnation is guilt and sin. Yes. If condemnation's in my in my heart, I have done already let it affect my mind. It's already took root in mind. And the more you meditate, how I many knows what meditate is? And think on your problem. We should never be there. We should never allow the devil to break us for the Lord. We should never allow Brother Pop the devil to cause you to sit down and doubt God one minute. But inside of each one of us has got the Holy Ghost. First thing is power. He didn't give you the spirit of fear. Fear has torment. Fear is of the devil. Yes, we got the fear of the Lord that's able to destroy both sides, body and soul and hell. That's not the kind of fear I'm talking about. When you fear the devil, you ain't, you, your love has not been perfected. How many you hear what I'm saying? If your love ain't been perfected, then fear is going to rule your mind. Fear will come. I wish somebody get a hold of this. I don't have to worry about tomorrow. I have the one in my soul that controls tomorrow and controls today and controls the future. I don't have to worry, Brother Bobby, what somebody does to me. Honey, Jesus said this. Be in the mind, save the Lord. I will repay. Touch not my anointing. Do my prophets no harm. Honey, Lord, you keep your heart right with God. God will turn hell upside down. He's shot us. 
because you are a child of the king. And the child of the king has power, has love, has a sound mind. Oh, God. Somebody said, Brother Paul, you just don't know what I'm going through with. Honey, I don't have to know what you're going through with. You face the same devil I'm facing. Oh, you don't know, Brother Paul. I got things in my past I can't get over. Listen, if God put his spirit inside of you, listen to this. I'm trying to get this plain as I can. When he, you got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now this is why when a person gets saved, every person that's got a portion of the devil either on you or in your spirit. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? You may not be possessed with the devil, but you can be oppressed with the devil. Yeah. And when that oppressive spirit is lifted off of you, yeah. God, listen to him, you get the Holy Ghost. Uh, and that, that bloodline puts a bloodline like a, like a fence. Uh, like I feel this. Uh, Lord, oh God, the devil couldn't get to Job. He said, take a hedge down. The bloodline is like a hedge around your heart. I wish somebody grab a hold of this. It's like a hedge, and the devil can't get through this hedge because it's the royal blood that we've been born by, Brother Bobby, and it's the royal blood that keeps us, and he sealed us with the Holy Ghost until the day of redemption. You can say what you want to. I'm not going to sit down and play patty cake with the devil. I'm not going to sit down with the devil, but I'm gonna talk on the devil. That's where the fuck you want to go. It's time to put the devil at me and Get him off his shoulders. Get him off your mind. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, Mark, me and Ed, and I put it off. Brother Mark on top of the right side. And you, you have the power. The mind is connected to the heart. Hello? Wow. The Bible said the mouth speaketh from the mind. Come on. The heart. That ain't what it said. No. Mouth speaks from the abundance of the heart. Oh, See, if something comes out of your heart that's not like God, you have let it go into the mind and it's traveled in the spirit realm down to your soul. Amen. And this is why we got to put, the Bible says to, to put a watch on the mouth. Right. How many can say amen? Yeah. The Bible says, first, uh, Lord have mercy. Somebody said, Brother Paul, you don't know. I was persecuted. Somebody cursed me out. Uh, somebody tried to run over me. All these things. That's nothing. We went through nothing what our Lord went through. He said, I put myself. Uh, when he gave you the Holy Ghost, uh, Christ, the hope of glory, himself moved inside of us. Uh, and he said, I give you power. Now listen to me. I'm going to say something. And now every time we need something, we don't have to say, oh, Jesus, uh, would you move? Jesus is expecting you to say, Lord. Lord, I've got you in here. Devil, yeah, you know what I got in here. You know what traded upon you. You know I brought you high tower down to the before me. Jesus. We're living in the generation that the saints of God are going to start walking with power and authority. Heaven knows you have power. Authority follows right behind power. And if you've got authority, you have to have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Well, I feel Jesus. He put something inside of us, Brother Bob. There should be never nothing escape through her mind into her spirit. Oh, Brother Paul, you don't know it. They just hate me so bad. Jesus said, pray for them to the spot for you. Is that what the Word said? Amen. I'll tell you what the Word said. And Paul said this. He said, redeem the time. Look with Paul Timothy. Redeem the time for the days are evil. We are living in an evilest generation that's ever been on the face of this earth, Brother Roger. It's time for us. He said, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Where's the power of his might dwell at? In us. It's in us. Your miracle. Your deliverance for somebody. Your power, would you hear me? Your power is inside of you. Through the name of Jesus. You have power to heal the scriptures. You have power to heal the headaches. You have power to lay hands on the sick. Well, I can't help but praise him. Amen. Marcus had that in the purple of my Go over to God. So I don't, I don't go past these here others. Now listen. Here's a, a, I mean, those as a boasting spirit. But Larry, I like what you said. That bless me. All you said, bless me. We're not to tell. 
and if you want to be the head, never boast yourself as you are something bigger than everybody else. I like what Paul said, Brother Larry, he said, I esteem my brother above myself. If you want to be used of God, you esteem your brother and sister above you. And how to dare to move God? And to cause that power inside of you. Uh, Brother Bob's talking about stepping up to another level. I'm telling you what, right now, when this before this revival's over, there's going to be some going to be at a higher level that they have ever walked in their life. I can't help it and I feel something. So like See, the devil likes to take that old spirit of lust and the flesh. The mind is ready for the spirit of the flesh is contrary to lust and one against the other. The flesh is trying to pull you on Satan's way. And the spirit is trying to pull you in a higher level than God. And like that song God gave me. I, I, I was at the crossroads. I had to make a choice. I can't make your choice for you to serve God. I can't make your choice. I wish I could. Make your choice to live right. I can't make your choice to be faithful to the Lord. But I, one day I had to make a choice. And you know what? Every one of us in here, you don't have to say nothing, but somewhere in our life, when we come to the crossroads, we made a wrong choice. And that choice costed us. Oh, I feel God. That choice cost us because it was listening to the mind and sin the mind and the faith of the spirit. God wants to lead you deeper in his anointing. He wants you to walk in a place that he can talk with you and he can walk with you. He can see the miracles of God's power operating. Does somebody say amen? I feel this. I, 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 we all at one time to come to the crossroad and we chose left or right. Which way did we choose? I know I chose over many years back. I chose the wrong road. I went down that road that was leading me further from God. I went down that road that led me in darkness and I lost my way in the night. I lost my direction for the Father. It was dark around me and I couldn't see. I didn't know where it was at. I didn't know where it was going. I was just going, but I was going down the broad road. But one day, Jesus, he shined that big light on me. I and now I tell you, I, I can see my way back home. I can see my way back home. And Jesus has got my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And honey, I'm going to serve him with a steam until his trumpet sound. And he walks out of that cloud. And all the people that's been here all the faithful here in this land, he's going to say, come up here, that anointing, that same power, that rose Jesus from the dead, is going to quicken the more bodies, that power that's living inside of you, that's in your heart, that makes you want to go to church, that makes you want to pray, that makes you want to push the plate back, that makes you want to meditate, that power inside of you, Christ in you, well, I can't help it, but I feel something stirring. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Jesus, I praise you. Hallelujah. God begin to show me that. Brother Larry, we're going to see great things in this revival. And if you can believe with me, I, I believe the miraculous is going to take place for this thing's close. Somebody said, my God, just going in another revival. Honey, I wish we could stay in a revival to Jesus come. I, I wish we was in church and an anointed Holy Ghost room. And all of a sudden, the trumpet would sound. It would shake the heavens and shake the earth. Honey, I want to be ready when it comes. I want to stay ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Mark that last set off, Brother Michael. I've got to put hundreds of fiery darts that was attacking your mind. Here's one. When you come to God, you're going to lose old friends. And Satan will try to penetrate that spirit in your mind. I've had dear friends. I have dear, I've had dear family members, Brother Bob. Turned against me because I preach this Jesus way. Jesus. And honey, I love them. Listen to me, but I will never compromise with my family, your family, this church, or another church, 
and sell out what God has put inside of me. It's not worth it. One day you're going to work up it and know that you took that wrong road. Or you may laugh and smoke when you're with your friends and these little smart addicts that's running around out here, Brother Larry. But honey, when Jesus moves his hand, the graveyard, they're going to dig some more holes on the graveyard. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Jesus says it's enough, honey, somebody will leave here and go straight to hell where that breath of life leaves them. Somebody said, you really believe in the power that God's that powerful? Honey, God can kill every one of us in here to snap up his finger. We have to bring a bus up in the halls to the board. You hear me? That's the kind of God we serve. I fear him. I'm going to serve him at all costs. We have to serve God. If your husband don't want to go, you go on in. If your wife don't want to go, you be faithful to God. Honey. You hear what I'm saying? Somebody said, oh, but that power it just disturbs me. Well, I just showed you the, the mind here, and I showed you the soul. If you've got God, the Holy Ghost inside of you, there's power, love, and a sound mind. A sound mind hate disturbed. A sound mind is not confused. I beg your pardon. I said a sound mind is not confused. It's forever settled in the Word. Because we are built on the rock. Have you known who the rock is? He's the rock of ages. He's come down through time. And all thousands of years and generations. And honey, he's still alive. He's still well. He ain't on the tomb. He ain't in the manger. Can you hear me? He ain't on the cross. But he's living inside of his people in this temple now. I can't help myself, but I feel him stirred. Glory to God. Heaven knows. You don't have to raise your hand. The devil loves confusion. I saw this thing that God showed me in this dream. I literally saw people. It's supposed to be brothers and sisters. I saw that they let the spirit that attacked their mind, the flesh part. I saw they let it begin to affect their actions in God in the church. And that spirit was getting such a hold. And I kept on praying, Brother Larry. I said, Devil, you're a liar. We're going to have revival because God showed me that we will have another. This is going to be the bigger revival. I'll tell you right now, you can say what you want to say, but you just come around and sit in the back seat. If you don't want to sit up front and watch what God does, man will not hinder the move of God no more. A man's not going to stop God. If it be God, he'll stand. If it ain't of God, he'll fall. Can somebody hear what I'm saying? It's time that we take God's word. Yes, yes. All right, Brother Michael, take that chalk and put a big old X up through that bottom circle. Real big. Oh, what's it? Satan wants your heart to be like that. Far away from God. Put the things and cares of this life before God. Ain't nothing going to stand between me and my God. Yeah. Well, Bob, I made my mind up and I'm not the only one here. Well, there we made our mind up. Ain't nobody going to stand between me and my God. I, I saw my baby girls. They was out of church. And, and little Stephanie was, she took the wrong road down that road that was leading her and far away from God. The devil said, they ain't never come back to church. Well, me, me and Mama started praying and I started fasting and seeking God. God said, I'm going to break that spirit. I can't fight the devil in the flesh. My flesh has no ability. But honey, there's a God living inside of us. He said, I'm putting my power in you. And I'm giving you the authority to put the devil in this place. It's time for you to declare war on the devil and stand on the word of God. Honey, I don't have to pray for my I've preached this many, many times. There's things that I need in the natural life. I don't have to pray for. They're automatically coming. The blessings of God will overtake me if I serve God to the fullness.
God. Uh, the blessings of God to be the pit. He lives up them daily. And these will overtake us. We can't outrun the blessings of God. Don't worry about yourself. Don't pray for your family. Pray for somebody else. Somebody said, oh, Brother Pop, I don't know. I just, the devil just snoozed it on me. Yeah, he's wanting to black out everything you got with God. The flesh is designed to lead you away from God. And Amen. Me. You can't do something. I said, well, this comes to my mind. Let me tell you something. You better know the Spirit of God if you're going to do something that something tells you. Yes. Many years ago, when Heaven Tent made no mama's church. Tent wasn't holding people that's come out in the yard. God was saving and healing and delivering, delivering devils. And my cousin, I've told him before, something here and something ain't. He'd take him on migraines, headaches, like I used to have him when he was sick. He'd come up for prayer. Four or five of them prayed for him. And I've always spoke to Brother Paul. Now don't fall for that stuff. The devil won't tell you nothing good to do. He will. He will. Amen. He can tell you something good to do that he knows is going to cause confusion and division like you ain't never seen. Yes, sir. My cousin went back and sat down and didn't shout, didn't get emotional, nothing. And when he sat down, the, the, the devil spoke in my ear and it's like I'm talking. He said, get it back up and pray for me to get healed. And that voice no longer got through telling me that. And the brother popped up and stood up and said, I thank God. When they prayed for me, God gave me a miracle. Now look what the fool for the power of the man. To embarrass him and embarrass me in the church. Yes, sir. This is why we got to get in God till we know the discernment and the leading of the Holy Ghost. Yes. The yes. devil will show you something good to do if he knows that you could cause division Amen. through what you've done. Amen. That's right. Is that right? I've been there. I've seen yes. it. I've seen the devil do it many times. Yes, sir. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Somebody said, Brother Paul, you believe that devil can use the Holy Ghost field person? If you love that mind. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. I'll be through it just a minute. And a stranger to the world, I follow. Yes. Well, what's that telling you when somebody listens to the mind and do something the devil's want them to do? It's a good chance they ain't even a child of God. Come on. Come on. You better back up and read your Bible. That's Lord. My sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. Come on. Is that the word? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's not saying you you uh, you can't backslide and never get back to God. Right. But you ain't gonna go for 15 years thinking you're holy moly and listen to everything the devil tells you in your mind to do. Because no, 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 you you got to discern the spirit. How many know the Bible says there's an the spirit? That's right, man. That's what the word says, brother. The yeah. word teaches that. Yeah. Apostles teach us to know them that labors among us. Yes. That's right, man. Yes. You just don't know somebody because they come in here in a black book and a guitar and a song book. That's right. That's right. Amen. If you don't know that person, what it's saying, it ain't saying that the outer appearance looks like a Christian. Yeah. They could have a form of fashion as a Christian yeah. and inside be raving off. Amen. Ready Amen. to kill. Yes. This is why we got to be led by the Spirit of God. Yes. Yes. Everybody that's preaching ain't called. Amen. Some of them, mama called them they went. Yes. I didn't pray to be a preacher. Yes. I didn't pray to, to preach God's word. Yes. But I did pray for the gifts and things working in my life. Yes. And I come to the honor for the Father that God chose me. Yes. And gave me extension on my life for the Steve. Yes. And I'm going to take my last breath and I'm going to praise him for what he's done for the Father. Yes. I'm going higher. Yes. Higher in Jesus than I've ever been. The world out here is worried about a war. Yes, there's going to be a major war. I done saw this. I saw the skies full of bomber planes, war planes. The heavens were black. Why should I worry? Jesus done pre warned us. Yes, it is. Amen. 
You go hear wars and rumors of wars, but the end's not yet. When's the end coming? When every person has had one chance hear the true word of God. And the true word of God is Jesus' name, baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. These lying devils out here can tell you that you don't have to have the Holy Ghost. They're a bunch of heathens, they're a bunch of devils. Don't listen to them. Without the Spirit of Christ, He said, You're not in. And the writer said, This same Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead. Quicken means to make alive, to bring forth. When we hear that cry come, this old mortal is going to put on immortality. You can say, Brother Tom, I don't need the Holy Ghost. I don't, I don't want what you got, but you're just going to hell, but I'm going to pray for you on your way there. Yeah. Having a say, man, yeah. we all, A.L.L. Brother Steve, got to go with this book. Yes, sir. Yes. If Amen. we don't go with the book, Brother Larry, no. I can get up here and read you anything out of this Bible. That don't mean I'm going. No, sir. What did you Nicodemus? He said, you've got to be born again. That's a twofold thing. Born in the water baptism in Jesus' name. Yes. Filled with the Holy Ghost like they got it in the upper room. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Honey, the Holy Ghost is real. Yes, it is. I, I'd hate to be raised for the Bible in, in a family that rejected the Holy Ghost. Oh. And didn't want them to the Spirit of God. Amen. They just cut their ticket away from going to heaven. Yes. We, we got to go the way they went. I can't go what the old flesh wants. Flesh is going to black out your heart. Flesh is going to destroy what God's put in if you allow it. So let's get rid of this revival. Turn the head upside down. Hallelujah. Let's get rid of this revival. Use the authority that he's put in us. I tell you what, I feel Jesus. Feel the Lord. Somebody give us, come get us a song. I'm going to stop for a on another hour. But please to God, don't listen to your mind. Your mind is the way the devil has to get to your heart. And if you listen what it puts in your mind, you'll doubt God. You'll lay out church. I'm not talking about you sitting and got a really good reason between you and God. I ain't God. You got to work or something comes up to you. Birds you don't know about. Just live like, well, I'm going to take a night off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rest up. I think I'll okay, just take this revival off, Brother Larry. That's, that's the nature of some people. But what if that's the last Bible we had a chance to go to? What if it's the last chance to excel into a level that God can use you and take you on home? Sister Stella. I'm going to keep right on going for Jesus, honey. Yes, I believe everybody in you is making that mind up. Yes. Nothing. You know, problems. Like I said this before, before she sang. I like what maybe sister said the other night. Lady, problems outside, you come in. Right, Guess what? They're going to be sitting out in front of your car yes. when you get back out there. That's true. Why is that, Brother Paul? Because Satan. Is your adversary. Yes. Pastor said, Find me, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Power. What kind of power? He put his spirit in it. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost don't have no fear in it. Amen. It's power, love, and a sound mind. Have you read the Bible when the apostle said the Holy Ghost is shed abroad in their hearts. The Spirit of God is in us and the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts through and by the Holy Ghost. Is that right? So if you say you got the Holy Ghost and you go around scared of the devil all the time, I'm going to begin to wonder what you do have. He said, I give you power. Right. That's the first thing on the list when you get the Holy Ghost. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Second thing is love. Third thing is the sound mind. And then you can lay down on the night and sleep. Oh, but if I'm worried about going home, I'm afraid to uh, 
I'm running the ditch line. But somebody hit me. Walk in that power. In that authority. It's in Jesus. Father, God, I praise you. There's one here that don't know you, Jesus. This could be the beginning of the best days of the life. This could be a brand new future that they never walked in. Because Jesus, you said you would make all things new. That old man dies. And that new man comes alive. Jesus, I pray right now, touch every need of this house for your glory. Amen. As they sing, if you need to pray if you're lost in here. If you don't know if you've been ready to go with Jesus, what's to call you tonight? Many people are leaving heart attacks unexpectedly. And the word said, man's heart's going to fail on Why? Because fear of things that's coming. Let me say this for you, son. I heard something last night on the news, and I saw this, Brother Roger. And this has really baffled my mind today. I saw they are, uh, what do you call that? Uh, not called a UFO, it's uh, intelligence, something they're, they're creating. Yeah. Men like robots, but they look just like a man. And these things are so smart that they're just about going to eliminate any employees on the job. And they went one step further. This year's what really flipped me. Said they are even going to have minds of gods. And I said, my God, the image in the Bible was give life. And they live. How close. If we, we really know what they have right now. How do you get back to God? And it's so close. It's why all this war and all this power of hell is raging. Satan knows he just got a short time. We preached this a million times. If you're going to get in, you better get in now. I'm telling you the truth. Now yes, the door is burning to crack that door. Get that door, sister. Pam. Open it wide open. When Jesus died on the cross after he rose from the dead, the door was wide open. Close it slowly. Stop. The dead Pentecost. You better stay back there, brother. I'm going to ski you up and over here. Never can tell what come out of the dark cases. But the Pentecost, what was it, 3,000 souls added to the church? And the Bible says the latter rain is going to be greater than the former rain. Amen. That was the former rain. Close this a little bit more. Right there. Since Pentecost to now. Get your hand off that door in there. <laughs> Maybe crack back like that. Now. Right there. The door is so now of being close on the Gentile people. That's us. Anybody that's not a blood Jew, born blood Jew, the door's going to be shut. Shut the door. No more opportunity for a Gentile to get right with God. That's why we are living by the Bible in one of the dangerous times upon this earth. The end is so close. The cutting off time. Wouldn't that be sad to live the rest of your days upon this earth knowing that you was doomed for hell never could get to God? I would rather be dead to live like that, Sister Stella. Why, you've got a chance. Let's get this thing right with the Lord. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the Word. I thank you for your spirit. Touch everyone that needs something in this house. In Jesus' name. As they sing, Anybody need to pray? We'll pray for you. I've come too far to look back. Oh, yes, we have. There's nothing. Hallelujah. Thank you.